A Silicon Valley tech mogul stabbed to death. The RBA warns of homeowners stuck in a mortgage prison. And the celebrities on the Forbes billionaire list. Welcome to Trading Up, a collaboration by The West Australian and Graffer. I'm Sarah Hewan. We start with the murder of a Silicon Valley tech mogul. 43-year-old Bob Lee was the creator of mobile payment service Cash App, which is part of the global payments company Block. He was stabbed to death in San Francisco. Here in Australia, shares of Block, which is the company that bought Buy Now Pay Later company Afterpay, were lower. The tragic death comes less than a week after Block was in the news amid allegations its Cash App product facilitated crime and lacked compliance controls. These are allegations that Block denies. The ASX closed the week lower going into the Easter long weekend. The sentiment was subdued as concerns continue about the volatility of markets overseas. And more bad news for at least some Aussie homeowners. About 16% are locked into what the RBA calls a mortgage prison. This means they can't refinance at a lower rate because they don't meet debt repayment criteria. And the bank says it estimates almost half of the poorest quarter of households are now in mortgage stress. The other group facing stress in this scenario are the builders. The RBA says it's seeing stress in Australia's construction sector. This is perhaps an understatement, given the collapse of at least five builders in WA alone over the past year. The most Googled stock on the ASX today is Talga. Shares have soared today after the WA-based battery materials company won approval to advance its natural graphite mine in northern Sweden. Meanwhile, nickel explorer Chalice Mining is urging Aussie super funds to back critical mineral projects, like Chalice Mining. The company says because the Aussie super funds don't have expertise like geologists or mining experts in-house, they are missing out on Australia's critical resources boom. And Forbes has released its latest billionaire list. The top of the list is now Louis Vuitton founder Bernard Arnault, who leapfrogged Elon Musk thanks to Rihanna's underwear. Rihanna is worth just over $2 billion thanks to her underwear brand Savage X Fenty, which she developed in partnership with the richest man alive, a good business partner. And the world's greatest influencer is still worth $1.7 billion, though KK's worth did fall about $80 million over the past year. Interestingly, most of her wealth comes from her shapewear brand Skims. There is clearly money in undies. You can find more business news content on thewest.com.au. Or to see all the data and insights behind this video, check out graffa.com. Thanks for joining me on this special episode of Trading Up. I'm Sarah Hewan. See you next time. <laughs>